What is up YouTube? My name is John and today I'll be reacting to Time Ghoul Occurrence on Mimas. Oh man, this is going to be completely different from what I have been doing on this channel so far because from what I read in the description it says, this is thinking man's death metal from way back when a lot of new ground was being covered. Brutal, psychedelic and most of all epic. Not for everyone's taste. And it's from 1994, man. I was four years old back then. Holy crap. This is going to be interesting because I have no idea what I'm getting into here. And it's 10 minutes long. So we're in for a very interesting ride, I would say. So let's start right now. Three, two, one, go. Listen in high quality. Okay, this is the best quality that I could get. Already sounds very old school. So dark. But I like the melodies, yeah. Oh shit. I mean, the production isn't the best, but it's 1994. Wow, okay. Interesting vocal arrangement. Real and plus. Oh. There and back again. Complete change of mood. Very atmospheric right now. With the ambient background. Oh. 
interesting songwriting. Keeps on changing. I need to mention that the lead guitar work is really, really good. Throwing those blast beats, man. All of a sudden, blast beats out of nowhere. <laughs> oh, here we go. So filthy. I said great lead guitar work. Oh man. We go in the slow tempo again. This is truly something else, man. to something. And again. Time for round two. Whoa! That was unexpected. Drumming is also great, but you know, just the production, it 
doesn't really sell it well. But again, it's 1994, man. Whoa. Oh, nice. Those dual guitars, man. That's what I probably like the most about this song. And the changes as well. Holy crap. Alright, we're at the end. I didn't even know, man. Alright. Oh, that was a journey. Alright, so that was Time Ghoul Occurrence on Mimas. Dude, what? Where do I even start with this? I mean, it's obviously the sound is for uh, the people who are used to these really polished bands, polished sounds, polished songs. This is something that a lot of people won't be able to appreciate because, you know, it sounds different, like the quality is not there yet because it's 1994, man, and back in the day it was... This was like a standard for smaller bands, smaller death metal bands. And even though the production wasn't like that great, maybe it even, I think it even added something more to the evilness and to the whole atmosphere of the songs. Because when I listened to some old school black metal, like the production again was really, you could say bad, but it was good for the band because it just worked, you know. It just worked with the atmosphere so well that it was not a con, but a, a good thing, you know. I was really, really trying to keep up with this uh, with this song and most of the time I was successful, but a lot of the time it just threw me off and I was surprised that they just added always those blast beats when I least expected them, you know. There was this part where it was kind of heavy and suddenly for a few seconds it got heavier with the blast beats and then back again. And then suddenly then this slow part came in really atmospheric with those guitars in the background or actually at the forefront I would say. And those lead guitar work, I think it was a, actually a double guitar, uh, like two guitars. And it was really amazing. It would uh, made a lot of song to me really awesome and not a whole lot of vocals. And another thing that surprised me really a lot was those, I don't know how to call them, the holy man vocals or church vocals that just came in out of nowhere and somewhere they blended in, like in the first part they blended in with the growling vocals and at the end, by the end of the song, they just isolated those vocals for a few seconds and I was like, whoa, okay, it kind of works and it makes it, you know, it makes you kind of uncomfortable and I think that's the, that's what the song was aiming for at that point. I might be wrong, but that's just the feeling that I got from this song and yeah. You know, I was kind of scared when I started recording this that I would get bored during this song because 10 minutes is 10 minutes, but oh boy, these guys have kept it fresh. I say that a lot of times, but they really did uh, make it fun to listen to all the way through because, again, all these changes and all these tempo changes, all these different kind of stuff, kind of uh, guitar work, you know, atmosphere, everything. Definitely very interesting music and, you know, I'm always up for something different, something new. Even if it's really old, I would love to, to check out like really different stuff that has no uh, musical boundaries or anything like that. Because you know, that, that kind of stuff is always a pleasure to listen to because you find all kinds of crazy stuff, crazy musicians and crazy song structures in there and that's always, always fun for me. Alright, so that's it for this video, hope you guys enjoyed, thank you so much for recommending me this, it was a really awesome and different musical trip and I really enjoyed that. So thank you again so much for watching, leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and subscribe for more stuff because there's definitely more stuff coming as always and I will see you guys in the next video, so have a nice day and cheers!